So let's head to Chennai, where the excitement is the start of the metro rail, perhaps the best thing that has happened to the city in a long time. And the first stretch to get connected is the Alandu to Coimbedu stretch. Chandan Kumar, MD Vijay Shanti Builders and A. Shankar, National Director and Head Urban Solutions, JLL India, join me to decode the effect of Chennai Metro and Chennai's real estate. Shankar, let me come to you first. You've written a long note on this uh, launch of Chennai Metro. It's not a very long stretch, but you seem excited. Is there? Can you feel that excitement around you as well? Yes, yes. I mean, it is really exciting that uh, a little bit, even from Coimbedo to Alandur, that will trigger the uh, demand drivers of uh, the real estate market. First, we need to understand the entire gamut of uh, the metro network uh, across India because we had studied a uh, lot of other metros in India. You know that there are about seven metro systems in India. The first one to start is uh, Kolkata followed by uh, uh, Delhi, then uh, Bangalore, uh, uh, then you have in Jaipur uh, and recently in uh, Chennai. So if you look at uh, the all the uh, metros across India, the metro have, uh, have a huge impact on the uh, real estate development, particularly the real estate prices along its corridor. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to see that uh, trend in uh, Chennai also, at least this uh, 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 stretch of this metro rail will definitely have a uh, impact on the real estate prices. Okay. And uh, once the entire metro network is complete, you will have a huge impact on uh, the real estate prices uh, uh, in, in Chennai as a whole because people try to you know, come closer to the metro rail because of its advantages, because of its connectivity. All right. So, and, Shankar, uh, we force 100 that feet... will happen in Chennai very soon. All right. So, 100 feet, Inner Ring Road, Jawaharlal, Nehru, Salai, Gindi and Ashoknagar. Are these the ones which uh, right now are benefiting the most, would you say? Yeah, exactly. Right mm -hmm. from uh, Coimbedu uh, to Alandu, that particular stretch is... Uh, uh, going to get benefit out of this uh, uh, operation. Okay, so now Gindi houses several IT firms, and and we've seen that IT firms in the last few year, few years have preferred to go to let's say a Bangalore or even Hyderabad. Look at the way Google or even if you take Amazon or Uber, they're all choosing a destination like Hyderabad over Chennai. Do you think that if the government or the state government can actually implement metro faster? you might see a revival of IT companies coming to Chennai? Yeah, there is going to be a huge revival uh, if uh, Metro gets implemented because a uh, lot of uh, businesses, I do agree that uh, it's going to Bangalore and Hyderabad. But once this Metro is in place, a lot of uh, IT companies would come near uh, uh, Gindi and also it gives a easy access to the existing IT corridor. Then once uh, it connects with the existing uh, MRTS, it, it forms a full circle and the entire Chennai region would be connected uh, well within the uh, city itself. So okay. it will have a, a very good impact and uh, uh, most of the occupiers who uh, are looking at cities, they also consider Metro as an important uh, uh, factor while uh, shortlisting the cities. All right, fair enough. Mr. Sandan Kumar, what's your own reaction to the metro? So as a developer, I know the construction and real estate industry is always asking for better infrastructure. The first stretch, it's not a very long one, but it's operational and we will see more routes getting operational. So are you, is, is the industry taking it as a big positive? Do you think prices, if not in six months, over a year will start recovering in most micro markets of Chennai? 100%. Uh, mm -hmm. See, at present itself, if you see the one sector which they opened from uh, Coimbe to Alandur, you see that stretch itself, there's a lot of development we could see there. And the prices also at that area and surrounding that area on 100 meters or kilometer, you, uh, we have seen a price of 10 to 15 percent rise. All right. Okay. So, are you, are you hopeful that the next phase of the metro will also... Uh, Im get implemented in a timely fashion because this one has saw a lot of delays, isn't it? That remains a big concern for yeah. Chennai. Correct, correct. That again depends upon the government. So I I'm sure government will take this up very fast and try to complete this project as fast as possible. And uh, so it will be a lot of benefit to the uh, uh, users also. They can, you know, reach on time. 
and a lot of uh, time saving will happen there. Okay. And uh, the prices of land and the uh, uh, projects will go up. All right. So your confidence, sir, that the prices will go up. All right, Mr. Chandan and Shankar, Chandan, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me. We're keeping it short because, of course, it's just an event and we want to know whether real estate prices in Chennai, which have stayed subdued and actually the market has just not picked up, this trigger it can be a very important one for Chennai market. And as you have more routes connecting, you could actually see some more IT companies coming back to Chennai.